Hello, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Sophia, here with a first grade ELA lesson for you. Today, boys and girls, again, we're going to be reviewing some new things. We're also going to be learning some new things. We're going to talk about some sentences, segmenting, blending, and we're going to review some tricky words. Okay, boys and girls? So let's see what we have for you today. All right, boys and girls. So as I mentioned, my name is Miss Sophia. I'm going to be your first grade ELA teacher for today. So for today's lesson, boys and girls, we are going to do our word of the day. Practice blending and segmenting. Talk about a few tricky words, practice writing them. We're also going to read a short story called The Man in the Kilt. And then we're going to do a couple of questions. So let's jump right in today, boys and girls. Here is our word of the day. I want all of my friends to try to sound out our word before I say it. Here we go. Try sounding it out. K. Oh. Oh. K -a -o. K -a -o. One more time. K -a -o. Good job, boys and girls. The word is call. Like I call a friend. Now, boys and girls, how many letters are in our word of the day? Go ahead and count them. One. Two, three, four. There are four letters in our word of the day, boys and girls. And boys and girls, how many vowels do you see in our word of the day? Remember, a vowel is what? Yes, A, E, I, O, or U. Do you see any of those letters in our word of the day? You do? How many? One? And what letter do you see, boys and girls? A. 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 Good job, boys and girls. Now, how many consonants do you see in our word of the day, boys and girls? Remember, these are any letters that don't make the vowel sound. So let's see. C, that's one, good. How about the A? No, that's the vowel. How about the L? Oh, good job, so that's two. And we have another L. Oh, that's three. Good job, boys and girls. There are three consonants in our word of the day. Now, lastly, we're going to clap our syllables. Remember, when we do this, we put our hands up facing each other and we say the word as we clap the syllable we hear. Are we ready? Call. 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 Good job, boys and girls. How many syllables did you hear in our word call? Good job. There's one syllable. Now let's use our word of the day in a sentence. Boys and girls, I'm gonna start with our first sentence. Can anyone tell me which word this is? Good job. It's an I. Let's read it together. Follow along with your pointer finger. I will call your name. One more time. I will call your name. Let's go to our next sentence, boys and girls. Call me Miss Sophia. Call me Miss Sophia. Good job, boys and girls. And how do we know that these are sentences? Uh-huh, good job. We have a capital letter, finger spaces, and punctuation at the end of our sentence, letting the reader know to take a pause or a break and move on to the next sentence. Good job. Now, boys and girls, let's do some segmenting and blending. 
Now for this practice, boys and girls, we're gonna do these together and we're gonna use our strategy. So we're going to segment and blend each word. So the first word I'm going to give you is gas. Gas. Let's try segmenting it. Remember when we do that, we fold our finger in to our palm and we wiggle our fingers. G, A, S, G, A, S. One more time. G, A, S. How many sounds did you hear boys and girls? Good job, there were three sounds. How about the next one? Let's try blending this one. So remember, I'm going to give you the sounds and you're going to come up with the word. P, A, uh, G. Remember, when we're blending, we're using our finger tapping strategy. Again, P, A, uh, G. P, A, uh, G. One more time. A, uh, g. Boys and girls, what word does p, a, uh, g make? Good job. The word is pug. And how many sounds do you hear, boys and girls? P, a, uh, g. Good job. There were three sounds. Here's our next one. The word is rush. I want you to try doing this one on your own. The word is rush. Using your segmenting strategy, how many sounds do you hear? Go ahead, try it. Good job, let's do it together. One more time. Boys and girls, how many sounds do you hear? Good job, there were three sounds, boys and girls. And we have our R, which is the R. We have U for uh, and we have SH. Together make the SH sound. So if we put it together, R, uh, SH, rush. Good job, boys and girls. This last one is for you to do on your own. So go ahead, read the word and then segment it. The word is flap. Go ahead, segment it on your own using our segmenting strategy. Good job. Let's try it together. Again. O, A, P. One more time. O, A, P. Good job, boys and girls. There are four sounds in that word. O, A, P. Good job, boys and girls. All righty, boys and girls. So now let's talk about our tricky words. So some of these words you've been hearing, you've been hearing it when we talk, you've been hearing it when we read, and you may have even talked about it with me, Miss Sophia, or if you've watched Miss Johnson's lessons, you may have heard her talk about these words as well. So here we go. This is what I would like my friends to do. We're going to read each word, we're going to spell each word, and then I want you to pick three of the words and I want you to write them, okay? So here we go, starting with our first tricky word, the. Remember, it's a tricky word because you can't always spell it out. In fact, you can't always sound it out. And that means it makes it harder to know how to spell it and read it. So here we go. The first one is the. T-H-E, the. The next one is here. H-E-R-E, -E. like I want you to come here. There, T-H-E-R-E, -E. 
there was w a s was where w h e r e w h e r e where now moving on to our second list why w h y why what w h a t what who w h o who said s a i d said and our last one says s a y s says so now, boys and girls, I want you to pause the video and take about five minutes. I want you to pick just three of the tricky words and write each tricky word three times. So let's say I picked the. I would write the, the, the. And let's say I picked was. I would write was, was, was. And then I finished with why. I would write why, why, why. So you're picking three words from the list, writing them three times, and then coming back. All right, boys and girls? So go ahead, pause the video now. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Good job picking out some of these tricky words to write. Remember, the best way to learn our tricky words is to read them and write them as much as possible. So now let's move on to our story, boys and girls. I want you all to follow along with me as I'm reading. And also you might notice some of our tricky words are going to be in our story today. So here we go. The man in the kilt. Does anybody know what a kilt is? Hmm. Okay, sounds like some of you have an idea, but let's read the story and see if it tells us. Once Nat and I met a man in a kilt. I said, why is that man in a dress? Nat said, that is not a dress. It's a kilt. A quilt, I said. No, Nat said, a kilt. So boys and girls, from this paragraph here, can you tell what is a kilt? Maybe look at the picture. Maybe it will give us a clue. Uh-huh, I think you're right. I think that a kilt is what this gentleman is wearing. And gentleman is just another word for man. Yes. So this man over here is wearing a kilt which is kind of like a skirt, but it's not a skirt or a dress. It's a special item of clothing that somebody wears in a different place. So he is wearing a kilt. I wonder if we're gonna learn about where he's from and why he wears it. Let's see. Here we go, follow along. What is a kilt, I said. Mom said, the kilt tells us that the man is a Scot. The clothes, the clothes on the kilt tell us where the man is from. So the kilt tells us his past, I said. Yes, said mom, it's a bit of his past. Mom got this snapshot shot of us with the man in the kilt. So what do you think, boys and girls? What does this tell us? What, what do we know about the kilt? We know it's not a dress, but it's something the man wears that tells us he's a Scot. And then the cloth on the kilt tells us where the man is from. So see how he's got a different design on his kilt? It's green and it's got some red squares and some bluish lines and some white lines. That means He's from somewhere special. 
So he wears that item of clothing to show people where he's from. Do you think he's proud of where he's from? Let's look at the picture. Does he look happy? He does. It looks like he's happy and he's proud to be wearing his kilt. Now, boys and girls, looking at this page here, how many sentences do we see on this page, boys and girls? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, boys and girls. There are six sentences on our page. Now, boys and girls, what type of punctuation do you see on this page? I see a, a couple different ones. Let's take a look. What is this here? Good job, that's a question mark, boys and girls, and we know that a question mark asks a question. So in this case, it says, what is a kilt? They're asking a question. Now over here we have, it is a bit of his past, and it has a period at the end. Good job, boys and girls, letting the reader know that the sentence is over. All right, so now that we've read our story, I want us to answer some questions, boys and girls. So here we have two questions. I want you to pause the video and answer both questions. You should work independently, but if you have a partner or it's okay with your teacher or parent, you may work with a friend. This should take you about five to 10 minutes. Come on back when you're all done. All right, welcome back boys and girls. So we just answered our two questions. The first question was, why did Beth think that the man they met was wearing a dress? And our second question was, what country do kilts come from? So you should have written down your answer for each of these question, boys and girls, and you should have shared your answer with your teacher, parent, or friend. So, boys and girls, that is all Miss Sophia has for you today. We are all done, but before we get going, I just wanna make sure that we talked about everything we were supposed to. So boys and girls, did we go over our word of the day? We did. Boys and girls, what was our word of the day? Do you remember? Go ahead, on the count of three, tell me what it was. One, two, three. Call. Let's use it in a sentence. Call me Miss Sophia. Let me hear your sentence. Good job. Boys and girls, did we do some segmenting and blending? We did. So let's see. We, let's say we have the word hat. When we segment it, we go at. At. Good job. What if we have the sound? At. How do we blend that together? Remember our blending strategy? At. At. Good job. So we did our blending and segmenting. Now, boys and girls, did we talk about tricky words? We did, and we know that tricky words are words that you just have to know. You can't spell them out or you can't sound them out all the time. And the best way to learn them is by reading and writing them. So we did that, check. And lastly, boys and girls, did we read a short story? We did. Did we answer a few questions from our story? We did. That means we are all through for the day, boys and girls. Kiss your brains. It was a good day. Bye, my friends.